Lassen, a very important and special German verb. Why special? Do you know how to translate this? Is it leave or is it let? In which situations can you use it and how do you use it properly? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. We will go through all the different meanings of this verb. I'm going to give you example sentences for each situation. And of course, a bonus tip at the end about a very important topic about the perfect, the present perfect tense for lassen. Let's start. Lasst uns anfangen. There are six different meanings for the verb lassen. Let me just give you a quick overview. That's what we're gonna go through all in this in this video. Etwas veranlassen. Das ist Nummer eins. To let somebody do something for you. Nummer zwei ist etwas erlauben. To allow or to let. Nummer drei ist etwas zurücklassen. To leave something behind. Nummer vier ist einen Vorschlag machen. To make a suggestion. Nummer fünf ist aufhören, etwas zu tun. To stop doing something. And the last one, Nummer sechs, is a kind of passive Ersatzform. It's a substitute for a passive form. Sehr interessant. Before we start with number one, let's look at the conjugation. Lassen is a irregular verb. As you can see here, ich lasse du lässt, er sie es lässt. Wir lassen, ihr lasst, sie lassen. And when we look at the PP, das Partizip, there is something special. You see, we have here gelassen und lassen. So there are actually two PPs. When and how to use which of those later in the bonus tip. Fangen wir an mit Nummer 1. Etwas veranlassen to let somebody do something for you. Zum Beispiel, two weeks ago I had super long hair, as you can see here, so I definitely needed a hair cut. So I could say, morgen lasse ich meine Haare schneiden. Morgen lasse ich meine Haare schneiden. I will get my hair cut tomorrow. Important here, I'm not going to do it by myself. I let somebody cut my hair. So this is, andere machen das für mich. Others do this for me. When you use this verb lassen, then somebody else is doing something for you. Mostly you have to pay for it, except maybe, I don't know, if you're a king or a queen, then maybe not, but usually you have to pay for this service. Of course, you can also say, I, I'm going to do it by myself. Ich schneide, morgen schneide ich meine Haare. This just means I will cut my hair. And this means, das mache ich selbst. I do this by myself. But maybe then it's going to look like this. So, no, I'm not going to do that. I prefer to go to a professional. That's a different example. Das ist Max. Und Max hatte gestern einen Unfall. He had an accident. And luckily nothing happened. He is still okay, but his car is broken. His sein Auto ist kaputt. Also Max hatte gestern einen Unfall, so he needs his car to be fixed, to be repaired. So you can say, morgen lässt er sein Auto reparieren. Morgen lässt Max, lässt er sein Auto reparieren. Again, he is not doing this by himself. He lets somebody do it for him because he is not a mechanic, so he cannot do it. So he lets somebody do it for him. Nummer zwei, etwas erlauben, to allow or to let. Zum Beispiel, das hier ist ein Bett und eine Katze. Und das ist Lisas Katze und Lisas Bett. So you can say, Lisa lässt ihre Katze im Bett schlafen. Lisa lässt ihre Katze im Bett schlafen. Lisa allows her cat to sleep in the bed. Oder ein anderes Beispiel. Das hier, das ist Paul und Paul hat zwei Kinder und seine Kinder spielen im Park. They play in the park. So you could say, Paul lässt seine Kinder im Park spielen. Paul lässt seine Kinder im Park spielen. Paul lets his kids play in the park. So he allows them to play in the park. 
Now, when you look carefully at this sentence here, you have the verb lassen, the conjugated verb, er lässt, Paul lässt, but then you also have here a second verb, spielen. So you have two verbs. So you can say the verb lassen actually acts like a modal verb, wie ein modal verb. Lassen is not a modal verb, and that's important. It's not a modal verb, but it has exactly the same concept, the same structure as a modal verb. Therefore, the second verb here, which is actually the main verb, is at the end of the sentence. More about this also later in the bonus tip. Nummer drei, etwas zurücklassen, to leave something behind. Das da, das bin ich, that's me on the weekend, am Wochenende und ähm, ich schlafe und ich mache nichts. I just want to do nothing, I just want to sleep, maybe do some gardening, but definitely not work. So I could say, ich lasse meinen Laptop im Büro. Ich lasse meinen Laptop im Büro. I leave my laptop in the office. I'm not taking it home, I leave it there in the office. Oder zum Beispiel diese Frau hier, die Frau ist sehr wütend, she is very angry, but why is she so upset? Because sie hat ihr Handy zu Hause gelassen. Sie hat ihr Handy zu Hause gelassen. She left her cell phone at home and as you can see from her reaction, definitely not intentionally. Nummer vier, einen Vorschlag machen. The verb lassen can also be used to make a suggestion. Das hier, das ist Lisa und Max und they talk and actually they talk about the evening. So what they want to do later in the evening. For example, Max fragt Lisa, was wollen wir heute Abend machen? What do we want to do tonight? Und Lisa sagt, lass uns ins Kino gehen. Lass uns ins Kino gehen. Let's go to the movies. Und dann sagt Max, oh nein, keine Lust. Lass uns lieber zu Hause einen Film schauen. Nein, keine Lust. Lass uns lieber zu Hause einen Film schauen. No, I don't feel like, I, really, I don't really want to go to the movies. Let's watch a movie at home instead. So here we have this, which is quite common also in English, of course, this let's do something. And here it's important to make a difference between singular and plural. If you talk to one person, like in this example here, Max is talking to Lisa, then it's lass uns ins Kino gehen. But when you talk to a bunch of people or to a group of people, then it would be lasst uns ins Kino gehen. This conjugation is actually from imperative, so there's just singular and plural. So again, for singular, for one person, lass uns ins Kino gehen. For plural is lasst uns ins Kino gehen. Another important and useful one would be lass uns das spontan entscheiden. Lass uns das spontan entscheiden. Let's play it by ear. And here again, this lass uns or lasst uns plus infinitive, that's the rule. This is this imperative conjugation. Just add any other verb in infinitive and then you have this let's do something. Lasst uns nach Hause gehen. Lasst uns schlafen. Lasst uns Bier trinken, zum Beispiel. Nummer 5. Aufhören etwas zu tun. To stop doing something. Zum Beispiel hier ein Mann. Er ist auch sehr wütend. He and very, very loud, obviously. Und eine Frau. She doesn't seem to care too much. So he might say, lass mich in Ruhe, lass mich in Ruhe, again, imperativ, huh? that's an order, lass mich in Ruhe, leave me alone. Or another situation, this dog, he bites the man here, and the man probably would say something like, lass das, lass das, let it be, let it go, or just don't do that. Common heard um, when parents talk to the, their kids, and the kids, is, the kids are doing something which they're not supposed to do. And then the parents say something like, Lass das, lass das. But you can also use this for situations when you quit something. For example, nächstes Jahr lasse ich das rauchen. Nächstes Jahr lasse ich das rauchen. I will quit smoking next year. Probably not gonna happen. 
Tippen. Nummer 6. Lassen als Passiv-Ersatzform. Lassen, as mentioned, can also be a substitute for a passive form. Zum Beispiel, Situation ist, that's this guy here and he was, wants to go home after work and obviously you see this on the picture and something is wrong with the lock so he cannot open the door. Of course, you can make a normal active sentence. You could say, er kann die Tür nicht öffnen. Oder, you can use a passive sentence and say, die Tür kann nicht geöffnet werden. Die Tür kann nicht geöffnet werden. The door cannot be opened. And now you can use the same sentence or the same meaning of the sentence with the verb lassen and it just sounds a little bit better. Die Tür lässt sich nicht öffnen. Die Tür lässt sich nicht öffnen. The door cannot be opened. Translation is exactly the same. Ein anderes Beispiel. Das da, das ist ein Auto und das Auto ist kaputt. It's completely broken. So it's actually, we call it in German, das ist ein Totalschaden. Der Totalschaden is a total loss. So if you cannot repair it anymore. So you could say the sentence, normal passive, das Auto kann nicht mehr repariert werden. Das Auto kann nicht mehr repariert werden. The car can no longer be repaired. Better with lassen, das Auto lässt sich nicht mehr reparieren. Das Auto lässt sich nicht mehr reparieren. Translation is the same. So it's not possible to repair this car anymore. And then you can use this sentence. Now, when we look at this sentence here a little bit more in detail, you have this word sich. Let's make one more example. Die Fenster lassen sich einfach öffnen. Die Fenster lassen sich einfach öffnen. The windows can be opened easily. And again, you have this sich. Why? Because the verb lassen plus infinitive can also be used reflexive. So the verb lassen can also be used like a reflexive verb. And in most cases, it's actually used as a reflexive verb when it's used as a passive substitute, like in those situations here. Also, one more side note here, which is important. It's only used in the third person, singular oder plural. Here, the first one, huh, this is das Auto, third person singular. And the second example would be die Fenster, which is the third person plural. So it's only, it can only be used, this passive structure can only be used in the third person singular or the plural. So something can be done or cannot be done. Bonus tip. Lassen versus gelassen. Which one do you have to use? Which one of those peepees? First situations would be if lassen is the main verb, then we have to use the PP gelassen. Gelassen. Main verb, when is it a main verb? When there is no other verb. That's pretty simple. Huh? If you don't have a second verb, then lassen is going to be the main verb. For example, the sentence in present tense, ich lasse meinen Laptop im Büro. Now the sentence in perfect would be, ich habe meinen Laptop im Büro gelassen. So the rule is haben plus Partizip 2, which is here gelassen. And then you have a normal sentence in perfect, like you know from most other verbs as well. Now the second situation, when we use lassen as a modal verb, as a modal verb, and then you see the PP is lassen. It's actually not gelassen, it's lassen. Zum Beispiel, morgen lasse ich meine Haare schneiden. Again, the same sentence as we had in the beginning. I let somebody cut my hair. So here, lassen is as, uh, it's not a model verb, but it just acts like a model verb. In this sentence, will be in perfect. Gestern habe ich meine Haare schneiden lassen. Gestern habe ich meine Haare schneiden lassen. So the rule is haben plus verb im infinitiv, and schneiden is here the main verb, plus lassen. Oder ein anderes Beispiel, Lisa lässt ihre Katze im Bett schlafen, im Perfekt, 
Lisa hat ihre Katze im Bett schlafen lassen. Auch hier, the same rule, haben Plusverb im Infinitiv plus lassen. And let's do one more. Ich lasse mein Handy fallen. A new one. I let my, hand, my cell phone fall down. Ich lasse mein Handy fallen. Imperfekt. Ich habe mein Handy fallen lassen. Ich habe mein Handy fallen lassen. I dropped my phone. And here you see also again it is lassen. That's the proper PP. But when you talk to probably Germans, we actually use it here. We would use gelassen here as well. So in the Umgangssprache and colloquial German, we definitely also use here gelassen. Ich habe mein Handy fallen gelassen. It's actually quite common. But proper German, standard one would be fallen lassen. That's definitely the right one. So again, the same rule, haben plus Verb im Infinitiv plus lassen. And now when we have a passive structure, it's also, the PP is also lassen. Zum Beispiel, das Fahrrad lässt sich reparieren. Imperfect would be, das Fahrrad hat sich reparieren lassen. Here the same rule, haben plus Verb im Infinitiv plus lassen. Hausaufgaben, ihr habt wieder Hausaufgaben. Schreib einen Satz mit lassen. Write a sentence, actually two, with the verb lassen. One sentence in presence, in present tense, and one sentence in perfect, in perfect tense. And if you want to know more about passive in general, then I suggest to watch this video right here about passive, or if you want to review the PPs on how to build the party tip, then you can watch this video right here. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. I hope you learned something. I hope to see you soon. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss und bye bye.